Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. We have this ODE problem, actually the same problem as we have solved using Euler's method and Hune's method. But this time we are going to use the alternative formula of Hune's method as shown below in the blue box. So just revising the problem itself, that's the ODE 5x dy dx is equal to 100 plus y. The initial value given is y equal to 20 at x equal to 0 0.5 and we are going to solve the value of y when x is equal to 1.5. The step size given is h equal to 0 0.5. As usual, first thing to do is to rearrange the ODE so that we isolate the dy dx on the left hand side of the equation. We will have dy dx equal to 100 plus y divided by 5x. Recalling this is the formula of the Hune's method. Okay, we take a look at the parameters that uh, we need to evaluate, um, including k1, k2, and so forth. So to make it easy, let's create a table uh, with all the parameters to be evaluated. So this is my choice of table. You can add your column or you might reduce some of the columns that you might think unnecessary or um, redundant. It's up to you. Um, you work with your own convenience. Let's fill up with the information we already have. The information we have already are the initial values. So we can fill up the first three columns. Uh, I zero of course so x zero is equal to 0 0.5 and y zero is equal to 20 meaning that the next step um, naturally we want to find the value of k1 so to calculate k1 uh, we need to have the value of the first derivative at coordinate x naught y naught so given the initial value x naught y naught is actually 0 0.5 and 20. Let's find out the value of the first derivative at point 0 0.5 and 20. So we substitute this value into the ODE, which we will get 48. And by using this Hune's formula, uh, the first derivative at the initial point is actually the value of k1. k1 is equal to 48. We can update the table now, where at i equal to 0, k1 is equal to 48. Next, to calculate the value of k2, okay, which is the first derivative at a particular point, that particular point needs to be uh, calculated first. We need to find what is actually xi plus h when i is equal to 0. So we substitute into the i is equal to 1. So we have x0 plus h is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equal to 1. So now we know the value of xi plus h at i equal to 0 is actually 1. And we also need to know the value of yi plus k1 times h uh, when i is equal to 0. So simple substitution, we will get y0 plus k1h is equal to 44. So take note that we need to find the value of k1 first before we can calculate the value of k2. So now we have these two values, uh, 1 and 44. So we need to find the value of k2 or the first derivative at this particular point where the coordinate of this particular point is 1 and 44. Now evaluate k2 when i is equal to 0 by simply substituting the values needed into the formula. So substitute the value of xi plus h which is 1 and yi plus k1h which is 44 into the rearranged ODE. So we have k2 is equal to 28.8 with the updated table there 28.8. Finally, we apply the uh, full Hune's method formula, which is this one. So we all, uh, with the values 
k1 k2 and so forth we can substitute into this formula and get the value of y i plus 1 in this case when i is equal to 0 y i plus 1 is equal to 1 y1 sorry y i plus 1 is equal to y1 so when we substitute all the uh, available parameters and values so we have this and finally we get y1 is equal to 39.2 so this means that at x1 equal to 1, y1 is equal to 39.2. So we don't stop here. We need to continue to calculate with i equal to 1 because it will lead us to the value of uh, x equal to 1.5 and the value of y that we are looking for when x is equal to 1.5. Let us update the table first. We have already y i plus 1 when i is equal to 0 or we can simply say y1 is equal to 39.2. So we update the value over there, there and there. So 39.2 corresponds to the value of x at equal to 1. Now we can calculate further. We try to complete the, the second row here. Uh, which corresponds to i equal to 1 which later will lead us to the value of x2 or y2 so we start solving the k1 k1 is actually the first derivative uh, at x equal to 1 and y equal to 39.2 for the second row and then we calculate the value of x 1 plus h and y 1 plus k 1 h in order to calculate the value of k 2 and finally we apply the full Hune's method formula we can get the value of y i plus 1 which is in this case y 2 so we have y 2 equal to 51.264 as a result at x equal to 1.5 y is equal to 51.264 so take note that this answer is actually equal or uh, similar to the answer obtained uh, through the calculation of uh, the Hune's formula, the other formula that has been shown in other video. So this, um, this method is actually uh, the same as the other method shown in previous video. That's all for now guys. Thank you very much. See you again.